Uncle Hoosh's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I am going to be releasing the Nintendo 64 pack for my Vintage Collection build. Uh, this pack is, has one little extra step uh, above the rest, but very easy to do. I'm going to show you how to do that uh, in just a second here. So the N64 is a pretty sweet console. Uh, it is difficult to emulate uh, for whatever reason. Um, most games run fine on PC, but it is a harder system to emulate. But there is some pretty good games for it. Um, just over 300 games for the Nintendo 64, uh, as far as North American releases go. So I'm going to show you guys um, how to go about getting it, and then we can go right into it. So, first thing you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description. And that's going to take you to uh, download a text file. And you're going to get the Nintendo 64, or the Vintage Collection N64 Packlink.txt. It's just a little text file. Open that up. And Arcade Punks is hosting uh, this one. So it should be a torrent file, I believe. But you can right click, copy, and then just paste this into your browser. And scroll down till you get to the N64 pack for Vintage Collection, and you can click that link in on Arcade Punk's website and download it. Um, once you have it, as you can see here, it consists of a bunch of different uh, zip files. Uh, the one you want to focus on is the .zip. So you want to right-click on that .zip and either extract here or in 7-zip, extract here. Once that's done, you'll have a vintage collection folder and inside a games folder. So make sure that this is what you have, just vintage collection, games inside. Take the vintage collection folder, right click, we'll cut, and we'll go to the root of our H drive. So you can see your vintage collection folder here. So in the root of H, just right click and paste. So I'm going to mute my computer here. We'll launch up Vintage Collection and check it out. I'll head down to N64. So what I've done with this pack um, that's a little different from others is some games run through Project 64. Most games do. Um, and one that I can name off the top of my head that runs through RetroArch, uh, and the reason why it does is because it would not run through Project 64, no matter what I did, I couldn't figure it out, so, uh, WCW NWO Revenge runs through RetroArch, but it's already pre-set up for you guys, good to go, so, if I launch this, and I'll just show you real quick here. Hopefully it doesn't take too long on my uh, dinosaur of a laptop I'm running. <clears throat> Sorry guys, a little under the weather, so uh, if I don't sound 100%, it's just not feeling uh, 100%. So the loading screen is a little longer. Um, so here we go. We're in for RetroArch. Um... So start and select to back out as normal. So one thing that I want to show you guys is uh, the reason why I have it so um, booting so long is because when we go to launch a game, we'll just say Vigilante, Vigilante 8, um, I wanted to hide the Project 64 like loading screens as much as possible. So, when I'm not recording, you don't see it. At the very end, you see it for like a quick second, just like that. And then it loads into your game for you. Same thing, we can press start and select. And you can see Project 64 is not running at 100% right now. So, I'm going to show you guys in a future video 
of how you could uh, run this um, through RetroArch if you're having issues with games, how to change what how the games run. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that in a future video as opposed to this video. Um, but I want to show you something I included with this. So total, we're looking at 305 for games. Tons of great games. You get the box art, the cart art, the wheel and the snap, as, as usual. So some games, they just don't run. And it's a couple of them. I believe it's Battle for Naboo, Star Wars, as well as Rogue Squadron. I couldn't get them to run in either core on RetroArch or Project 64. Uh, but what I included, <clears throat> excuse me, is a really cool uh, No Mercy hack called Showdown 64. So you can see the box art, the cart art's there, um, the snap and the wheel. And I didn't create this, and I, I apologize, I don't remember the creator's name off the top of my head at this very moment. Uh, but when we launch it up, this is the only game that does not run through Rocket Launcher. It runs direct. So if I were to press start and select to exit out of this game, it will not exit out. So I'm going to show you how to change that in just a second. We'll let it load up. There we go. So Showdown 64 World Tour. Um, so I'm going to press Alt F4. And that's going to take me out. And I'm going to show you how to set it up so we have it to like start and select. So it exits just like every other game. So we'll press Tab on our keyboard. We're going to go up to Controls. Uh, sorry, sorry. We're going to go to Emulators. Press Enter. And we're going to scroll down till we go to Showdown 64. Press Enter. And right here you have Exit Hotkey. So what I'm going to do is press Enter, and then I'm going to press Start and Select on my controller. So Enter, Start and Select. There we go. And now I'll back out. And when I launch Showdown 64, there we go. So I could not get this, this runs on an older version of Project 64, and for some reason I could not get it running through Rocket Launcher. Um, now, it doesn't really make a difference to me, only because it's it's widescreen, as you can see, so it's, it's, it's not running um, 4x3, it's running widescreen. Uh, but if I press Start and Select, just as any other game, I'm, I'm out, and I'm, I'm back running. So if you're using bezels or anything like that, if you've done that, I, I don't use bezels that much anymore. Uh, not so far with Vintage Collection anyways. Uh, mostly for arcade games I do. But if you're running bezels, um, Rocket Launcher is what runs your bezel. So Showdown 64, unfortunately, is the only game so far that I have that cannot run a bezel. But it does run in widescreen like I mentioned, so it's not really that big of a deal. Um... But there's a ton of great games for the Nintendo 64. So in a future video, I'm going to show you guys um, how you would go about changing certain games uh, to run with a different emulator. So far, everything is running through Project 64, uh, the latest version, except for Showdown 64 is running through an older version, which it must. The newer versions will not play it. Uh, and WCW NWO Revenge runs through RetroArch. So I just want to make that clear. Um, if you're if you're wondering if any game what games run through, uh, now WCW NWO Revenge is running through RetroArch using the Moopin Core, uh, but you could switch it to Parallel if you wanted to, and that will be a future video uh, I will make available as soon as I can, uh, so that way you guys could uh, change it up. You know, let's say you prefer Beast Wars to play in RetroArch, or or you you prefer Turok to play in RetroArch, but you want the Moopin Core, but Turok 2 you want to play with the Parallel Core, so on and so forth, you can go ahead and change all that stuff up. Uh, also, as you can see here, Turok Rage Wars, so I loved playing back in the day uh, with people on GoldenEye, you know, uh, two-player mode, chasing each other, killing each other, and all that fun stuff. Turok Rage Wars has, has a very similar uh, gameplay here, which is pretty sweet, so... Make sure you check this out too, because it's it's actually really really good. Um, I wasn't familiar with it until probably like a year or so ago, uh, and really got into it and thought it was really awesome. So, 
definitely uh, something I would recommend. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the Nintendo 64 uh, Vintage Collection Pack. More packs to come in the future, of course. Uh, but I wanted to get this one out there because uh, it's just a really, really good system, the N64. And um, while we're on the topic, I've got a couple N64 to USB Mayflash adapters that I'm going to be doing a review on in the very near future. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how well they work and how you would con use them to configure your controller and so on and so forth. So, again guys, uh, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, have a good day.